Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, welcome. I'm Darlene and I'm going to get right into your reading today. This is going to be something new. Um, we'll see how it goes. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of reading, if it's the information resonates with you. Um, oh, I just realized I still got my workout sweatshirt on. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and there might be a little noise in the background from the kids out in the playground here, but it's almost dark, so that probably will uh, cease shortly. Hope everybody's doing great. You've had a fabulous Christmas. I certainly did. I'm going to start shuffling these cards while we're visiting here. Get your cup of coffee, your tea, your glass of wine. I don't know what time of day you're watching this. Oh, and I'm ready for the new year. I hope you guys are too. Please be uh, smart and safe out there this year, all right, if you're, if you're celebrating. So I'm doing this reading uh, on Scorpio, the person that you're thinking about, you're caring about in a romantic relationship that you're not in contact with currently. And so let's see, let's do a little investigating here. What's going on with your person while you're in no contact? Whoa, that may be too many cards, but they just fell out. I'm going to take them. That feels right to me. So let me see what fell out here. And I know you can't see the cards. It's either my wrinkly face or these cards. And I already had it set up for another reading. So I just said I'm going to push record and see. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Makes me sad for your person. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So what's going on? Now this will be... For the majority of you watching, whoever that is, now re please remember, stories are different. If this is not your story, or you're not involved with anybody, or you don't care, but don't try to make the story fit if it's not. Um, readers pick up on different storylines for different groups of people. So, what I what just fell out here on the table is temperance, which to me is patience. It's also the divine balancing energy. In fact, it's funny, I just did a, a Scorpio reading, I think it was yesterday, and this came out sort of as the, it was toward the end of the reading where I talked about, um, I, I asked the question, what is the potential outcome? And so you might want to go back and look at that reading. But this is one of the cards that came out. And, and so I'm going to pull a little bit from that message where it talked about, um, you know, the divine in this card, let me hold it still so you can see. This is the Rider Waite Tarot. This is an angel taking two cups and balancing them back and forth. Now, cups, as we know in tarot, represents emotions, feelings. And so it feels to me um, two things here. Personally, your person is trying to find balance in their life because of something that they really, really feel remorseful about. Secondly, um, this is the divine. You know, we live in a world made up, a universe. All of existence is energy. It's all energy. And so, to me, this is one of the ways that spirit balances energy is through relationships. Okay. So, this could tell me universe is trying to balance and your person is trying to find balance because of something that they're feeling very remorseful and regretful about. They're looking back. And sadly, what I see here, and especially because of the next card, in, in this card you can see the three cups filled, but there's two still standing here. So your person is very focused on what happened over here, not, not taking a moment to turn around and say, but what about these two cups? These two cups are still standing. Maybe I could, you know, capitalize on those or make something of those or whatever because next card is because we have a missed opportunity here something a, a tangible in the upright and ace of pentacles is something very tangible in the 3d world a, a new offer a new opportunity but it's in the reverse this could mean it's blocked maybe temporarily uh, but i feel like that's what your person is feeling remorseful about and Again, these are very similar cards that came up in the other Scorpio reading where I did your person and then I looked at you. So you might want to check that out. Uh, also, there's a lot of Scorpio 
especially Scorpio's Aries relationships, but Scorpios that are in the twin flame cycle. So if that's of interest, I also have a whole uh, playlist of twin flame readings there because some of these energies, I see them crossing over all the time with the Scorpio reading. Anyway, next card out is the Nine of Pentacles, which is a, you know, of all the knights, he's the one that gets there, but he's the slowest. That's what you hear me say in these readings. And so, to me, this tangible offer, it, and it's right in the middle of the spread of cards here. It's, it's, and I just feel like that horse is not moving, y'all. He's just sitting there. He's sitting there. But he wants to come back. This is moving on to calmer waters, but it's in reverse, the Six of Swords. And so he's, and the Six of Swords is also uh, thought of as a, it, unlike the Eight of Cups where someone's leaving, this is sort of a forced departure. And I don't know why, I've never even said that in a reading, but that I'm feeling that energy coming through, but I don't want to leave, I don't want this to be over. That's again, because it's in reverse. But I'm being held back, I'm being restricted. Now this can be a lot of things. This, this devil card can be addictions, it can be uh, codependency, it can be, a, Again, because you can see on this card where these figures are being held by these chains, but they could just pull the chain off and walk away. So, to me, this is a kind of self-imposed restriction um, in, in certain circumstances. So, something about that is very toxic here and restrictive is holding your person back from their Ten of Cups, their happiness, their fulfillment, their, this is your person, I get the feeling that they're feeling held back from coming to you, which I can't make this up. They are held back from their wish fulfillment, which is coming to you, the Empress. And I'll refer again to my Twin Flame readings. The Empress in, my, uh, in those readings is the Divine Feminine. And again, there's no gender in tarot. That's just the term. So they're trying to be strong. They're trying to be strong, but what I feel you, now there's, there's you here in this, even though we're asking about your person, um, I, I just got a real switch of energy here that this is, this is you, the reader, my readers here, you're trying to be strong, and it's also your person here, again, like I said, they are looking at you as their wish, uh, their Ten of Cups, their happily ever after. And they are starting to see your worth. That's what I get from this card. And now they're having to be str strong, but they realize they might not have uh, been someone you could depend on in the past. This is the Knight of Wands. He's the commonly called the player card. It's a very in and out energy. Now, this could mean, because the moon is behind it, that either if you didn't know that this person was like this, this could be spirit telling you that, but it's really fear. To me, I feel more off of this particular card now. It's fear. It's things that are behind the scenes. It's, it's things you can't see and things that you might be afraid of. And what I think your person here is afraid of is that he's going to be disappointed. Now, this could also be him rethinking your relationship because this is somebody turning down an offer from the divine and feeling disappointed. Oh, it just wasn't good enough. It wasn't, you know, wasn't my cup of tea. She had red hair. I like blondes, whatever, whatever. And now he's rethinking that decision. I think uh, he didn't, maybe the timing wasn't right on this situation. Ta-da! But there was love here. He did care about you. He, I'm saying he, I, I'm just in the habit because most of my viewers are women. But, you know, no, again, no sex, he, she. Um, but there is love here, but no communication. But they are checking in on you. This can be social media. Um, you could be driving by a house, I don't know. Let's hope that's not creepy, but um, they could be checking in on you. Uh, or at least, at the very least, this can be looking at old photos, looking through old text messages, thinking about you, even dreaming about you. Yeah, this is, um, but there's no, still no movement. 
And if you feel they owed you an apology, there's there's not one yet because of some things. I think there was something here that happened. There's just no, there's been a lack of good communication. I don't usually get that off of that card, but that's what I'm feeling. Well, certainly a lack of communication if you're not talking to each other, but that felt different to me. Um, I, I, I have to tell you, I think maybe what you don't know, this truth that's not seen right now, that's being put off, is that they they're, have been thinking about a reconciliation. This is, can also be an awakening card. So it could be also another story that your relationship with this person caused them to have an awakening. Um, kind of soul searching, you know, within themselves. Maybe you showed them some things about themselves they didn't like, but they needed to see. That could be too. That could be too. But there is a cycle coming to an end here. There is a cycle coming to an end. And right behind this is the number one card of communication. Now, this could be telling me your person is thinking about reaching out to you because they know there was no balance in the relationship. There was not an equal give and take here. All right, one second. I'm looking at the next cards. Ooh, yeah, stuck. Okay. So, and I don't want to go too far in the deck, but, ooh, but these cards are juicy. They're juicy. I'm just going to, I don't want this to be a long video either. Okay. So if your person, um, mm, give me a second. The Nine of Pentacles is in the upright is someone who's single and free to pursue. Okay, they're wealthy, they don't, oh, well, well off, comfortable. They, uh, they're independent. This is in the reverse. So this can also be a card of codependency, followed by the Hierophant. So I'm wondering, followed by the Cup of Love, which, I mean, they're lovers, excuse me, two, two of Cups, my bad, two of Cups, and the Hangman. So these tell me that maybe... You know, the, if, if you might know that your person's in another relationship, I don't have a three of uh, swords here, all that, but it could be they're in some kind of commitment that's uh, got them stuck where they can't have a new perspective here about love. That could be what this is telling me. Because um, this can be, you know, codependency. They're codependent on another commitment and so they're in love some kind of a romantic commitment and they're stuck that could be what that's saying and they're hermiting hermiting that's a hard word to say hermiting i got that right didn't i um and all i get this is interesting i've never gotten this energy off this girl. all i get from this is i'm lost i'm i'm lost not like i don't have directions to get to the next turn I'm lost and I'm looking for a light in the dark that's what this feels like I just feel this really sad energy off of this hermit which I don't usually get and that, and it feels to me like the cause of it is has to do with again this is um, can be a relationship a marriage can also represent the twin flame journey can just be a commitment I'm lost maybe this person could be if you're person's not in any other kind of relationship maybe this could be as simple as I don't know what to do about this and so I'm just staying at home I'm retreating I'm going within I apologize I'm shaking the camera there I'm going within I'm taking a time out from everybody and I'm trying to decide what I want my happy home to look like my family my future to look like um, because I, I've been stubborn. I know that I haven't changed. There's been no change here, and that's not that's not getting me to this new adventure down the road. I need to make plans. I need to make some different plans here. I need to make different choices in my life. So I'm going to work on that, and when I work on that, I will be able to figure out how to have this brand new beginning. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I could just go through that whole deck and just tell them the story, isn't it? 
Okay, folks, that is um, what I have for you today. And I appreciate, again, you being here. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button. I will be going live when I get a thousand subscribers because I'm new and I just, I'll be excited about that. So y'all come back and see me. I appreciate you being here. Thank you again. Many blessings and take care. Bye.